Hi, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on cirrhosis of liver, I have explained about the classification, the etiology, pathophysiology, and the signs and symptoms of cirrhosis of liver. In this video, let's discuss about the diagnostic tests and the medical management of cirrhosis of liver. Commonly advised liver enzyme tests are increased ALT, increased AST, ALP, in, there is an increased level of bilirubin. There are also tests need to be done for viral infections, blood tests for autoimmune liver conditions such as anti-nuclear antibody, anti-smooth muscle antibody and anti-mitochondrial antibody. The imaging tests that help in determining the size, shape, and texture and stiffness of the liver are the MRI and ultrasound. Ultrasound mean uh, the transient elastography is a special ultrasound that measures the stiffness of the liver and the liver fat. Liver biopsy is advised to see how much scarring of the liver has occurred and it is a confirmatory test to diagnose the cirrhosis when results of other tests are uncertain. Under medical management, one needs to minimize the further deterioration of liver function through the withdrawal of toxic substances, mainly it, the alcohol and the drugs and the patient needs a lot of help and assistance to for the withdrawal of these um, substances. Correction of nutritional deficiencies with vitamins and nutritional supplements, a high calorie diet and moderate to high protein diet can be advised to the patient. Ascites is one of the common symptom or the complication of cirrhosis of liver wherein the patient needs to be advised to restrict sodium and water intake depending on the amount of fluid retention. Bed rest to aid in diuresis, diuretic therapy frequently with aldecton, a potassium sparing diuretic that inhibits the action of aldosterone on the kidneys. Lasix, a loop diuretic may be used in conjunction with the spironolactone to help balance potassium depletion administration of albumin to maintain osmotic pressure. Further, abdominal paracentesis to relieve symptoms of fluid retention and transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt for complications related to hyper, uh, portal hypertension. Symptomatic relief measures such as pain medications and antiemetics. Administration of lactulose or neomycin for hepatic encephalopathy and orthotopic liver transplant may be necessary. Thank you. In my further video, I will explain in detail about the nursing management of cirrhosis of liver.